ये नेक्स्ट और टाइस यस सो यू शुड टेक अबाउट दिस इब्न मसूद रजी अल्लाह तआला अन प्रॉफिट सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम टोल्ड हिम व्हेन यू डिड समथिंग गुड एंड यू फेल्ट द हैप्पीनेस फॉर दैट आर यू डिड समथिंग रॉन्ग एंड यू फेल्ट अपसेट फॉर दैट nobody is blaming you you yourself is blaming yourself so it means that you have the iman your meter is working it shows you the temperature it shows i think that our meter is broken if not broken so i think that uh, the sima is not there the mercury is not there that's why it does not show us that we did something good or we did something bad doesn't matter we did good or we did bad we don't care about good and bad for example our prayer have we ever thought that who should we pray behind have we ever thought that who should lead the salat e janaza of my father or my mother yes we are thinking about this these are services like christian services yes these are services like and whenever some non muslim they come to us and they ask us about service i said that we in our thing we don't have services yes they say no you have the mask and you have say we don't have mask we have masjid we don't have mask because mask was a term that was actually for the first time adopted by the spanish people when they were killing the muslims and they were taking shelter in mask they used to call them mosquitoes and calling that place as mask that is the mosquito place the mosquito are hiding here so anyhow you can tell the non muslims that yes it is called mask but this is not mask this is masjid wa anna al masajid lillah fala that's why we named our masjid as al islam masjid yes people are looking there is one center they are not using the word islam or i will give you only one there is one center not masjid so they are not using the word islam or the word muslim or the word masjid they say that people don't like it people don't like allah subhanahu wa taala so should we not mention his name yes say people don't like muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam should we not uh, mention his name as well Still, you think that you are a Muslim? You are a Muslim. You believe in Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Why you are afraid of your belief? If you are not proud of what you believe, you are not a believer then. Yes, believe me, you must be proud of. You are Muslim. Yes. So you are proud of that or not? Say. Yes. You no, know, louder voice. Yes. You are a Muslim. You are proud of that or not? Yes. Nothing will happen. Be proud. Don't be coward. Nobody can do anything against you. The only thing somebody can do will kill you. First of all, Abdul Kaba, that's okay. That is false. That is success. If you got murdered for no reason but only that you are Islam, you are your Muslim. My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Look, pride, takabur, iftihar. That is not like Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in any way." In the Hadith, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. ان الله خلق الارض ووضع عليها الجبال لئلا تميل بكم الله سبحانه وتعالى he created the earth and he put the mountains there and there upon so it may not touch on you yes so now it means that the mountains are very strong sahaba radhiyallahu anhu lahu alayhi wa ajma'in they asked the messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa hal hunaka shay'un ashaddu min zalik In the creation of Allah, is there anything which is more stronger than the mountains? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Al-Hadid, yes, the iron and the steel that is more stronger than rock and stones." Then Sahaba asked Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, "I was telling people, yes, and brothers and sisters, that look, this hadith could be considered the base of our science and modern technology." Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was asked by Sahaba, "Wa hal huna kashayun ashadu min zare?" Is there anything much more stronger than steel and iron? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Naam, and now the fire." But the fire. those who study science, chemistry, and physics properly, they should look into it. I have written a small uh, uh, brochure on this hadith. Respect to brothers and sisters, then, but we don't have anybody to print it properly. Otherwise, we would have printed it. So to type it, why? Because the terms and terminologies are Islamic, and most people they do not know Islamic terminologies. So I have written almost 60 books, and still that is there. A few of them that you can't print it, but anyhow, my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, Sahaba are one of the highest in the world. They asked the messenger of Allah, "Okay, one two small books to measure. I don't know here. Done it or not? Done it? No, Inshallah. Yes, Inshallah. Me for Mullah. You are a Mullah. You are a Sheikh. Yes. So our Sheikh used to say 
that when a common lay Muslim say, inshallah, that is for barakah. That if Allah wins, I will do that. But when a mullah and shaykh says that, that's for lie, that he doesn't want to do that. <laughs> so anyhow, my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, the point was, Sahaba Rizwanullah he said to Rasulullah is there anything much more stronger than fire? Prophet said, Naam, al -ma. the water. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sahaba asim, wa halu hunaka shaybu nashaddu min zalik, is there anything much more stronger than water? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, al-hawa, the air, yes, which makes it a stream, and that is up. So anyhow, the sahaba alayhi wa sallam, they are the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that these are the four atoms and the four elements in the physical world of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the whole science and technology and development, it is rolling four things. That's called the four basic elements of science. So anyhow, Sahaba are the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That all the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there anything much more stronger than the air as well, the gas as well? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told them, yes, as-sadaqa allati tu'tiha bi yaminika wa tuhfiha an shamanik. Their charity of yours, which you are giving with your right hand, even your left hand does not know that you are giving charity, which means sincerity. So the utmost, the stronger thing in the creature of Allah is sincerity in your amal. And today, the number uh, 18, that Imam Rahmatullahi Ali, he told his son, that make your niyat and intention a sincere one, and how you will be sincere, it starts with food. Yes, they eat halal. Avoid anything haram or doubtful. If you have doubt about something, just don't, don't go for that. Yes, eat halal, but halal doesn't mean slaughter properly in the name of Allah. That's okay. Yes, slaughter properly, that is required. But halal means cheating, that is haram. Fraud, that is haram. Corruption, that is haram. Stealing, that is haram. Defrauding someone, Yes, that is haram. Adulteration and selling, that is haram. All these things are haram. Even you are doing your job. Whatever your duty is, you are cheating your boss. You are not doing it properly. So whatever you are earning, that's haram as well. And when you will be eating haram, you will never be sincere in your amal. If you will not be sincere in your amal, your amal are dead. And that cannot avail you any benefit or anything good. Wa'afu da'wana. Alhamdulillah.